Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So work out this integral from from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. That's you working out the area of this whole graph uh, uh, from from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, by right we should we should do this. If if you want to evaluate it from from negative infinity to infinity, you need to break it up. Um, and work it out from negative infinity to zero. So, uh, so work it out from from negative infinity all the way to zero, and then, and then, and then from zero all the way to infinity. So from from zero from zero all the way to infinity. So it's really you breaking this up into two separate parts. One, you working it out from from negative infinity all the way to zero. And then, and then from zero, work it, work it out all the way to um, to positive infinity. But, but an easy way of doing that, rather than rather than breaking this up into two separate parts, let's just work, let's just work this out from from zero to infinity, and then later on we can just times it by two because it's um, is an even function. Okay, so so we're so rather than doing this, rather than rather than doing these two parts. We are just going to do this, and whatever the answer to this is, we're going to multiply by two. So let's let's try and evaluate this. So hang on. So we are going to evaluate it from from uh, zero to uh, to infinity. But before we can do that, before we can evaluate it at infinity, we need to evaluate it at b. So let's just let's just try and evaluate it at b, and then later on we can take the limit as b heads towards infinity. So our, our first step is to evaluate it from zero to uh, to let's say an arbitrary point B. So B. So we're going to evaluate it from zero to B, and then right at the end, we um, well, we, we we we're going to evaluate it from zero to B, and then later we we can allow B to head towards infinity, and then once we've got that, we can then multiply by two. Okay. So so our first step is to evaluate it from zero to B. So. Rather than doing this method here, uh, we are going to just we are just going to evaluate it from zero to b. So evaluating this from zero to b. So integrate this. That will then give you this. And we've done this many times. You should know how to integrate this. And then we need to do it from zero to b. So put b into here. That will then give you this. Put zero into here. That will then give you this. Well, if you look at the um, the arctan graph. Arctan graph looks something like this. Um, arctan of zero would be zero, so this thing here is going to be zero, uh, and then and then that that will then give you this. So us evaluating it from zero to b, it will then give us this arctan of b. So now now um, now now let let b tends towards uh, infinity. So now look at this bit here. So the minute you allow b to head towards infinity, then you can say you are actually integrating you are actually integrating from zero to infinity um, yeah the, the minute you allow b to head towards infinity then you can say that you are integrating from zero to infinity so what is the limit of this as b tends to um, tends to infinity well if you look at the if you look at the arctan uh, arctan graph it will look something like this and this here is actually pi over two. So as as x tends to to uh, to infinity, it is heading towards the limit. Well, this limit here, this limit here is pi over two. It is pi over two. It is pi over two. So as you take the limit, uh, as b tends towards infinity, this whole thing here will be pi over two. Meaning this thing here is pi over two. So what we've done so far is that we. Uh, if you integrate from zero all the way to infinity, this area here, all the way to infinity, will be will be will be pi over two. Well, if you want, well, let's let's just multiply this by two to get the whole thing to get the whole thing from from uh, from here to here. So 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 from negative infinity to infinity, the area will be you um, multiplying this by two, multiplying this by two. So. So the area, the, the whole area here is actually pi. Okay.